Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tricia, and I wanted to share a couple of items that I recently made that was inspired by Restoration Hardware, one of my favorite stores. But what? These prices are super expensive. So I'm going to show you how you can make a couple of items using only Dollar Tree supplies. So let's just dive right in. The first item that I made are these modern bookends, which are perfect if you love reading books and you have a lot laying around or on your bookshelf. This really adds a decorative touch to it. I used two silver metallic candle holders and two burgundy ceramic decorative balls. I thought these were perfect since it had some weight to them. I went outside and spray painted my balls a silver metallic spray paint, but you can always paint it another color of your choice or you can leave it as is. Once the paint dried, I added E6000 to the top of my candle holders and then placed the ceramic ball on top. To bring out the detail in the ceramic ball, I decided to use Rub and Buff in a classic gold. If you decide to do this, I highly recommend using gloves for this. All you do is put a little bit on your finger and rub it wherever you want. Let the paint dry and then you're finished. The second project that I did are these textured faux stone vases. These type of vases are great if you have that farmhouse or modern rustic look in your home. Who says you can't make a glass into a stone? I haven't figured that one out yet, but we can definitely make one look like one. So I grabbed a couple of vases from the Dollar Tree Grabbed some aluminum foil and tore a piece that was a little bit bigger than my vase. The piece of aluminum foil that I just tore is a little bit too big. I want it to be the same length as the vase, so I'm going to just take my scissors and cut it. To get that stone-like texture, I'm going to wrinkle up the aluminum foil a little bit. Then smooth it back out. Next, I took a little bit of Mod Podge and brushed it onto the end of the aluminum foil. Then I placed my vase on top. Now I'm going to continue brushing on the Mod Podge to the remainder of the aluminum foil. Then wrap it around my vase and smooth it out. To get that stone-like color, I'm going to layer on craft paint. First, I'm going to combine black and white craft paint to get that grayish color. Then I applied the paint to the vase using a small sponge. Here's another vase that I did with a different shape. I added a layer of light brown, but I didn't like it, so I ended up adding a layer of white, then another layer of dark gray in some areas. Guys, if you notice, when I added the gray paint, it really enhanced the wrinkles that are in the aluminum foil, so it kind of gives that illusion of having cracks in a stone. The beauty of this project is that you can customize the color any way you want. If you don't like how it turns out, then you can always paint on top of it. Next, I added paint to the inside of the vase. If you don't paint on the inside of the vase, you will see the aluminum foil that you have on there. If you don't mind seeing the aluminum foil on the inside and you have plans on filling it up with something, you can skip this step. And finally, I added Mod Podge on top of the paint just to seal everything in. And here's what it looks like up close. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like before and after using this technique. The last project that I wanted to share with you is this Moss Ball Centerpiece. Having a piece like this adds a level of sophistication to your space. This is something you can add to your entryway table, island, dining table, or coffee table. I took a tray that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and cleaned it with some alcohol. Then I took um, some sandpaper and lightly sanded the tray just so that the paint could adhere to the plastic surface. This is something that I'm trying out just to see if it makes a difference. I went outside and spray painted my tray a metallic gold color. While the paint dries, I took out the floral moss and three small balls that I found at the Dollar Tree. This is a great alternative if your store does not have the styrofoam balls. Before I started making the moss, I found it easier to separate the moss out. Next, place a bit of hot glue on the ball. Then place moss on top but be careful not to burn yourself in the process. I repeated the same process until I covered the entire ball. And this is what it looks like. No! Good thing, it's still intact. 
Now that you're finished, add it to your tray and that's it. Simply gorgeous. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free. Also, let's connect on Instagram. I'm at Designs by Tricia. I would love to share your work, so tag me. And I'm on Facebook now, at I'm Tricia J, where I give commentary on my videos and share other ideas with you.